give half a saw buck for a silver dollar right now. A silver dollar? What could you do with that? Buy a razor to cut these ropes. Why don't you use that sharp whip? <laughs> Seriously, Frank. I'm sorry. It wasn't for me. Stop right there, Marion. It's just the job. It's nothing personal. Frank, you know that's not true. Job's a job. He's dangerous. They all are. What do you pinch? Large crate. Military. They were gonna fire him when he went missing. And he disappeared too. So he took a powder. What of it? After it vanished, they fired me. Said I was his accomplice. Mr. Wells, I don't even know what was in that crate. The general? I'm sure of it. Something important? Certainly. I'm afraid he'll... Couldn't he... Sell it? What, are the Reds or something? Yeah, sure, if he's a traitor. What makes you ask that? Little things. I was his secretary for eight years. Since before the war. It's not hard to know someone. Sometimes it is. All right, Miss Ruby, just... Give me the guy's name, all right? I'll smoke him out. Hanson. General Rudolph Hanson. You know him? Corporal Wells. My, my, it's been a long time. You ought to get your watch checked. <laughs> Hello, Marion. Stop pretending to be civil and tell us which one of these crates is the one you stole. I am sorry they fired you. I never meant for that to happen. Guess you should have thought of that before you stabbed your Uncle Sam in the back. Stabbed my... Corporal Wells. Mr. Wells now. Are you still upset about Higgins? That boy had it coming. No, he didn't. Not like that. He had to bust his chops over a bum rap in front of the whole unit. Pushed him over the edge. He should have faced court martial. His suicide proved his cowardice. You really take things too personally. You might as well have tied the noose yourself. And here you are doing it again. Selling military goods to the Reds, thinking you'll get away with it. I'm not selling anything. Mr. Wells, if I told you half of what I know about that crate, you'd think me mad. Well, I doubt the demon will buy your insanity, please. But they don't know you like I do. Last year, we discovered something rather interesting. Well, there was an incident in New Mexico. Our boys saw things they never could have seen. Things that could destroy this world. What, some sort of weapon? Mr. Wealth, Miss Ruby, I am sworn to defend my country against all enemies, both foreign and domestic. And these things are dangerous. Too dangerous for humans. Hmm. Who else is going to use the kangaroos? I couldn't let our boys destroy the world. Yes. I took the crate, but not to sell it to the Soviets. If I wouldn't do that, I could have done it months ago. No. I have to find a way to destroy it. If I can. No. 
You won't. Marion, what are you? I'll be taking that crate. Marion, don't do anything crazy. Just untie me and we'll... Sorry, baby. You're not coming. I have a right, Frank. No. Frank. All these months, all that searching, I'll finally be vindicated. I want to be here. Just let me do my job, Mary. Don't make it personal. Frank. It already is. Mary, drop. The gap. You don't understand, Frank. I've been. No kidding. I was playing too with Hanson when they knew that the war was starting. I was. You are a spy. And a traitor. And a lot of other two dollar words I won't use in next company. Frank. Drop the act, honey. You played me for a sap. You used me to find Hanson so you could swipe that crate for your bosses behind the curtain. Please, Frank. Come with me. I don't know you, lady. It wasn't all an act. We can still be together. I'm no traitor. What has this country done for you? When you came back from Europe, you couldn't even find a job or a place to live. Me and a lot of other guys. Yes, I used you. But they used you too. The difference is that I still care. See? You're not a soldier anymore. You don't owe them anything. We can't be together. Unless you... Unless it didn't mean anything to you. You hired me to find General Hansen. I fulfilled my contractual obligation. Now I'm going home. Forget the job, Frank! Like Hansen did? Goodbye, Mr. Wells! Please, Wells, you've got to destroy the crate. It's your duty. It's your merit. I don't work for the Soviet. Here. You can't stop us. Tickle. Oh, Good show. Huh? Good to see you that, smart guy. Yeah, all oh, so clever. Why is that all the answers? You couldn't even destroy that crate. You're a coward. Higgins. Well, I'll come back. And you'll still have your pathetic, sleazy little job. But I'll be free. I'll be. Yes, you will.